Hello, welcome to the video on graphics in OSDAG. So far, we have learnt how to design a fin plate shear connection and how to set the design preferences. In this video, we will take insights on how to handle various graphics operations in OSDAG. By the end of this video, you will be acquainted with the graphics operations in OSDAG. Let us first explore various features of the graphics window. After a design has been successfully completed, that is, a safe design has been obtained, the design component is displayed in the graphics window. We can pan, zoom or rotate inside the graphics window. To pan, click and hold the scroll button of your mouse and move the cursor to a desired degree. To zoom in and out, use the scroll wheel on the mouse. To zoom in, use scroll up and to zoom out, use scroll down. To rotate, click and hold the left mouse button and move the cursor. The same operations can also be performed using the items from the graphics menu. We can change the background color of the design window by going to the graphics menu and clicking on change background. Select the desired color and click OK. We can also view the different components of the design connection such as the beam or the column or the fin plate individually by clicking on the respective checkboxes from the quick access bar above the graphics window. The same operations can also be performed using the items from the graphics menu or using the assigned shortcut. For example, let us display the beam of the connection by checking the beam checkbox. You can go back to viewing the whole model again by ticking the model checkbox. We can create standard 2D construction drawings of the front, top and side views of the design connection. For this, go to the file menu and select save front, top or side view. You can also select the respective shortcut keys or by using the respective buttons from the quick access bar. Let us create the front view for the current design by clicking this checkbox from the quick access bar. A new window opens displaying a 2D construction ready drawing. These drawings are labeled following industry standards and can be used by a designer or a draftsperson to easily understand the design component. This window gives us the option to save the image in raster PNG format or vector SVG format. Let us save it in a PNG file. A dialog box opens asking you to select a location and name of the file. Enter the name and click save. The SVG format image can be viewed using any modern internet browser. An SVG image can be enlarged or reduced without any loss of quality. These images can be further edited and enhanced using vector graphics manipulation software like Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator.
3D CAD model can be saved by going to the file menu and selecting save 3D model or by pressing ALT 3. You can save the 3D model in various CAD file formats such as IGS, STEP, STL and BREP. These file formats are accepted for import and export operations in most CAD software. Let us save the 3D model in an IGS format. Enter a file name and click save. This brings us to the end of this video. Let us summarize the tutorial. In this video, we have performed various graphical mouse operations such as pan, zoom and rotate. We have also learnt to display the entire model or an individual component of the connection. We have generated 2D construction ready drawings of the front, side and top views of the connection and saved the image. Finally, we have learnt how to save the 3D CAD model in different CAD formats. In the upcoming video, we will look at how to create a design report. Thank you.